Today is World Oceans Day. Since 2008, the United Nations has been recognizing June 8th as World Oceans Day. And this year's theme is about life and livelihood. I'm reporting to you here from the West Philippine Sea, Ligtasin Cove, near Matabungkay, Batangas. And this morning I'm going to go take a look and see how the coral reef is doing. I've been creating some videos on it in the past. But now that it's Habagat, or the typhoon season, which has just started, we've got a lot of seaweeds and trash which have washed up. Though people always blame the stormy season for bringing the trash, the real problem is upstream, where municipalities and people's behavior are to just dispose of primarily single-use plastics into the water streams, which eventually end up here in our oceans, up on our beaches. And ironically, the people who live here, the livelihood of millions of Filipinos, depends on the health and cleanliness of our oceans and beaches. Tourism, fishing, and other related industries in these coastal areas are so dependent on the sustainability of these fragile ecosystems. And unsustainable tourism practices, such as allowing over tourism, people to step on corals, anchors from boats dropping directly onto the reef cause damage. And this is something that we have to pay attention to. So let's dive in, take a look, and I'll show you what's under the sea. So I'm here walking on the beach and I'm going to be honest, it's really heartbreaking and disheartening to see the state of affairs here. I mean, for a community that's so dependent on tourism, to not have, you know, uh, enough organization and a system to ensure that the place stays clean is really, really sad. I mean, people come here in order to experience the beauty of nature and the beach and they line up and they try to, uh, you know, come here and enjoy and relax, but then look at what they're greeted with. And it's been my work to try and mobilize the community through the local government and try and bring awareness to these issues because people are literally just leaving their trash on the beach. So this isn't all because of the storm. There's no waste disposal system here in this barangay. And ultimately, the plastic trash, which has been used for, you know, one time on their quick little journey to the beach, washes up here and now is creating this cesspool of pollution. And it's really, really sad. So we've got to try and come up with a systematic way to empower the local community to help address these situations because this can't keep happening. I mean, it's just so unsustainable and so sad and, and the community could so much more benefit from having clean ecosystems because the value of that is exponential compared to what they can earn now with the kind of tourism practices that they've got going on. I mean, primarily it's this, these sachets and these disposable cups and it's just disgusting. So one of the big problems here is that there's no enforcement whatsoever for the tourism operators to clean up after themselves 
and for the tourists to be held accountable for their pollution. And here, what is happening, unfortunately, is you've got massive alcohol intake. And people are just leaving their alcohol bottles and then they eventually just wash up. And it's really, really just sad to see, to be honest. And at least Sombra's here. Thank <laughs> you. 